It's been nearly 15 years since 16-year-old Amber Woods was found murdered on the side of a Manatee County road. And today, deputies announced they arrested people in connection to the case. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane shows us how detectives finally got their breakthrough. She was so full of life, had a beautiful smile, had her whole life ahead of her. But the life of 16-year-old Amber Woods ended on February 11, 2006. Her body was found on the side of Highway 62 in Manatee County with a gunshot wound to the back. Detectives say they had several leads at the time, but could not build a strong enough case to convict her killers. Until now, deputies say new technology in cell phone tower tracking was able to place Ralph Williams at the scene where Woods' body was found the night she was killed. Detectives say Woods was dating Ralph Williams and believed she was pregnant by him. He was more concerned about the fact that she was underage and that he would be going to prison. Detectives say Williams conspired with his brothers to kidnap and kill Woods. An autopsy report later showed she was not pregnant. This young girl had her entire life in front of her. And they, they treated her like she was nothing. Ralph Williams and Taiwan Williams, who is the one accused of shooting Woods in the back, are both being charged with second degree murder. Jemaine Brown is being charged with accessory after the fact. Her life ended and, and, and they, they continue to, to be able to walk the streets and continue to live their lives. Well, now we know that we can walk in peace knowing that they won't have that right just like she did. And, and I think we get justice from that. In Manatee County, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.